how to use your server to collaborate with the Shipit render farm. I will explain you how to do this in this tutorial. But for first, just deploy a server. If you don't have a server, just check it in my tutorial on how to deploy a server on the cards or on the info box. Just check it out. Anyway, we have this command line server and we want to use it. How to do that? We don't have a, a, a guy, a graphical user interface. So mainly, this is based on Ubuntu. We have to download the packages that we need. The packages are super user do apt install java common then default jre headless because we don't need the head and then ff and back so let's enter and download the file that we need Okay, phase two is to download the JRE file from the Shipit website. So to do this, I will go to my secure shell uh, terminal. And write we get. Then I will go to the ship it page, get started, and then under can I launch the client without web browser? I will copy the jar file link, copy link address, and paste it here. So download. Download completed. Now I can find it on my home page and I can just Create a script, a script that you can download by my info box here below. But now I we will write it directly. So I will use V to write uh, for a text editor on the command line. So V and I will call it script. Script. So E for input uh, for insert mode and in the file or in the info box you will find these things so let's adjust it just to fit our needs so java jar is to launch the client ship it the client and the number this is the version number and you will have to match with uh, this version number that you will download so it must be the same or anyway, you have to rename your uh, file to, I don't know, Shipit Client. So we will keep um, Shipit Client and then version number because it's comfortable. Then UI, user interface. You can choose here between one line. One line will um, just show you one line with everything that you need. So the percentage of render, uh, the download status, everything in one line but the one i prefer is text so you just have to delete this one line and leave text check there is where your render files are saved so if you have a very few gigabytes on your hard drive uh, or your solid state drive it's better just check here this on your largest drive so you won't finish uh, your <laughs> space but for the purposes of my tutorial i will delete it because i have enough space so then compute method you can choose between gpu or cpu generally in the server you have just cpu so just leave cpu and then your login your login is just your username that you can find here so connected as Fryoshi in my case and then into my account you can find something very useful for this kind of thing that is not inserting the password so here 
you won't insert really the password but you will insert the keys keys are very 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 powerful because you can just uh, paste it, it and uh, you will gain credits just using the key, this key but you cannot change uh, your password you cannot use credits it's a read only um, key <laughs> we can say so let's open it oh where we are okay let's open this script let's just copy let's paste it then let's put let's uh, press the ask key and double point right quit and enter now it's saved I'll ask to show what is on uh, our home folder and then we must super user do change mode plus x script password and as now we have our launchable uh, script so we can use it uh, it is important because by SQL shell you you can do a lot of things you can copy you can paste you can do a lot but if you exit if you exit the SQL shell the problem is that the render will stop I noticed this so it's better not when it not to let it happen so let's just close your SSH and go to your I don't know which server do you use or do you manage it anyway by the main console you can uh, you can launch it and leave it open it so let's do it this way clear and let's launch the render it's very easy you just need to point slash and the name of your script and then enter starting a requesting job now everything has start you are rendering you are doing everything by command line so you can have more options on this way for example you want to block your project uh, the project you are rendering you want to show the status you want just to um, pause for a moment let's say I want to use the server for something different for a moment so I need all my computation power you can just uh, write pause so just entering your key so pressing your enter key you can have a list of commands you can use for example block will block the current project because you don't want it it's too much heavy for your uh, for your server you don't want that so you can block it you can pause you can resume stop so after this uh, frame the server will stop and nothing more will be rendered another thing that you can do is cancel for example you wrote stop but you don't wanna really stop it because you say no I want to leave for another hour uh, the computer on so you just can uh, write cancel a cancel will cancel your uh, stop command <laughs> so let's say let's request in the job okay this is my my file in Piantoman is my one <laughs> so let's say that we want to stop wait wait not stop but we want to pause pause so we pause it we cannot see really by the command line because it's very confusing it's very fast anyway if we now write status and push enter you can see that it is paused but we wanted to resume it so we just write resume doesn't matter the line but resume we resume it so status and this is, no wait raised I wrote wrong okay and now status will exit after the current frame oh yeah this is because a bug if now we wrote stop this is the, the meaning of the bug if we rewrite stop now and then we write status we can see that it's running okay just forget about this it will be fixed uh, soon anyway you will see it running not exit after the current frame this will be switched in the future anyway let's resume it and oh no let's cancel cancel because we want it to continue rendering we want not it to be stopped 
okay so now we are rendering projects everything is okay we can check it out on our page so let's refresh the user page and as you can see we have our Randy virtual drive connected and running so now we are rendering this is the computation power 215 you will make so much more credits by it than just 19 or 100 it's uh, 250 you will render surely more fast faster faster than your current computer probably because uh, well it depends on the on the client that you're using on the not dot client but the server you're using for example this one ship is different this one just have uh, a 90 percent but i'm running it for a month so it's cheaper for me but it will uh, contribute so much more to the farm because it's connected every day every hour so it will help so much more but this one for example we have uh, people that need more computational power for example i use it this because i have a project of mine that is very very heavy this one as you can see it's rendering from a lot of time and i use it this uh, 60 core the 32 threads because i need so much computational power to see it completed so you can do that the same you can just you do that for your team projects if you have team projects or anyway anything that you want you can just contribute to the farm it depends if you have your home server or you just want to use your desktop computer without the guy without the graphic user interface you can do that that's not really a problem you can do this way so this is everything i think that you can need if you have any kind of question just please write on the comment section below uh, this was francesco yoshi fra yoshi just uh, contribute to the farm please because it's very important it is something that in which i i believe so much it and helped me so much as you can see by my frame order that are 500 45,500 they are so many uh, thank you to all of you that helped me I I will try to help you too as, as much as I can and see you to the ship it run the farm bye